Are housing prices going down? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with eXp Realty. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see what we're going to do with this thousand bucks. So I've heard a lot of buyers say that they're waiting on the sidelines until prices go down or the prices are getting too expensive. But are real estate prices really going to go down in 2021? Heck, let's throw in 2022 while we're at it. It's important to remember that real estate's local. So while the national market could continue to see growth, there could be some specific markets where prices ultimately go down because of local issues. But in this case, we're going to talk about the national market. So will the market go down in 2021 or 2022? Nope, it's not going to happen. And there are a multitude of reasons why. But let's start with this imbalance of the hot housing supply and demand the level of demand will eventually subside. There's no doubt about it. There is no way that this level of imbalance can continue. I believe that this demand will eventually decrease due to, well, increased interest rates and or buyer fatigue. But that decrease in demand, it will not turn into a real estate slump where housing prices go down. Freddie Mac recently reported that the housing market is 3.8 million single family homes short of what is needed in order to fulfill demand. So why the shortage? The chief economist at Freddie Mac is quoted as saying, this is what you get when you underbuild for 10 years. So what does all this have to do with prices? Even if demand subsides a bit, we're gonna to continue to see the imbalance in the supply and demand curve for housing. And it's because of all this underbuilding. It's true, we're building more houses. Last year, we actually built 991,000 single family homes. This is not bad. We actually haven't seen this level of building since 2007. But in order for builders to meet long-term demand, they actually need to build somewhere in the ballpark of 1.1 to 1.2 million single family homes a year. So why aren't they building more? And this is because building takes time with approvals as well as labor and financial capital. A shortage is not something that the market can just quickly correct. And the supply chain issues post COVID, they're really not helping anything either. Lumber in itself is up 300% right now, 300%. It's costing these builders even more money in order to build these homes today. This shortage, it's not going away anytime soon. I think it's also important to note that the 2008 recession, it was a housing caused recession that was fueled by low mortgage standards as well as oversupply. And those are two things that we just don't have today. And other, another factor that people just aren't talking about is inflation. The price of pretty much everything is going up from our consumer goods to food to energy. Inflation, it's here. And it's only natural that if everything else is getting more expensive, well, housing prices are gonna go up as well. So, is now a good time to buy? Yes, real estate, it's always a great investment when you buy over a long period of time. In a recent video, we compared the stock market return to the real estate return from the time period of 2000 to the end of 2019, and it wasn't even close. You should watch the video if you haven't already seen it, but just as an FYI, there's a 1,072% return on your money. To recap, are housing prices going down anytime soon? Nope. And sitting on the sidelines, it could ultimately end up really costing you. So this $1,000, once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're going to give this $1,000 to the ASPCA. So drop a hammer on that subscribe button below, and let's save some dogs and cats. I'm Jeff Chubb with eXp Realty. Should you have any questions or should you need me, the best number to get us at is 617-480-2600, or you can visit us online at boston2.com. Thanks for watching.